Listen to a high school principal talking to the school students. Attention, students and staff. Exciting news. An indigenous dance group from our coastal state will grace our school this afternoon. Prepare for a cultural feast and interactive session, delving into their unique culture, dance forms, dialects, instruments, and rhythms. These classes during the 6th and 7th periods will be suspended to ensure everyone can participate. Don't miss this extraordinary opportunity for fun and learning. See you there! What is the subject of the announcement? Listen to a high school principal talking to the school students. Attention, students and staff. Exciting news. An indigenous dance group from our coastal state will grace our school this afternoon. Prepare for a cultural feast and interactive session, delving into their unique culture, dance forms, dialects, instruments, and rhythms. These classes during the 6th and 7th periods will be suspended to ensure everyone can participate. Don't miss this extraordinary opportunity for fun and learning. See you there! What is the subject of the announcement? Listen to a high school teacher talking to the school students. Dear dear students, due to unforeseen circumstances, the class visit to the zoo scheduled for tomorrow is postponed to next week. This change provides us with an opportunity to ensure a more enjoyable and educational experience for all. Please make a note of the new date, and we appreciate your understanding. Get ready for an exciting adventure as we explore the wonders of the zoo together next week. What is the purpose of the announcement by the teacher? Listen to a high school teacher talking to the school students. Dear, dear students, due to unforeseen circumstances, the class visit to the zoo scheduled for tomorrow is postponed to next week. This change provides us with an opportunity to ensure a more enjoyable and educational experience for all. Please make a note of the new date, and we appreciate your understanding. Get ready for an exciting adventure as we explore the wonders of the zoo together next week. What is the purpose of the announcement by the teacher? Listen to a conversation between two friends at school. Hey, did you catch the performance by the indigenous dance group from the coastal region today? Absolutely. It was incredible. The energy and grace in their dance forms were mesmerizing. And those drums they used. So unique. The beats added a whole new dimension to the performance. Totally. I was moved by the stories they told through their dance, you know. The emotions, joy, love, gratitude, hunger, sadness, all rooted in everyday experiences. Exactly. It felt so genuine and relatable. I never thought a dance performance could convey such a range of emotions. And did you notice their vocabulary and dialect during the interactive session? It's distinct from the mainstream, but so unique and rich. It made me appreciate the diversity within our state even more. Their language is like a treasure trove of cultural heritage. The beats of those drums were infectious, weren't they? I couldn't help but tap my foot. It prompted this urge to join them in the performance. That's the beauty of it. It wasn't just a show. It was an invitation to immerse ourselves in their world. Our school really knows how to create enriching experiences. Absolutely. Let's keep embracing these opportunities to learn and celebrate our cultural diversity. Now answer the questions. Listen to a conversation between two friends at school. Hey, did you catch the performance by the indigenous dance group from the coastal region today? Absolutely. It was incredible. The energy and grace in their dance forms were mesmerizing. And those drums they used. So unique. The beats added a whole new dimension to the performance. Totally. I was moved by the stories they told through their dance, you know. The emotions, joy, love, gratitude, hunger, sadness, all rooted in everyday experiences. Exactly. It felt so genuine and relatable. I never thought a dance performance could convey such a range of emotions. 
And did you notice their vocabulary and dialect during the interactive session? It's distinct from the mainstream, but so unique and rich. It made me appreciate the diversity within our state even more. Their language is like a treasure trove of cultural heritage. The beats of those drums were infectious, weren't they? I couldn't help but tap my foot. It prompted this urge to join them in the performance. That's the beauty of it. It wasn't just a show. It was an invitation to immerse ourselves in their world. Our school really knows how to create enriching experiences. Absolutely. Let's keep embracing these opportunities to learn and celebrate our cultural diversity. Now answer the questions. Listen to a teacher talking in a biology class. Good morning, class. I hope you all had a chance to reflect on our discussion from the previous day about birth control and our bodies. Today, we'll delve deeper into a related and equally important aspect, birth control and its connection to women's liberation. As we explored yesterday, understanding our bodies is a crucial part of growing up and it empowers us to make informed choices about our health. Today's discussion extends that knowledge to the realm of reproductive choices. Birth control methods offer a range of options for individuals, providing them with the ability to make decisions about family planning. This is particularly significant for women as it grants them greater control over their reproductive journeys, aligning with the principles of women's liberation. Our conversation today aims to shed light on the various methods of birth control, emphasizing the importance of informed decision-making and open communication with healthcare professionals. By understanding and embracing these choices, individuals, especially women, can pursue education, careers, and personal goals with greater autonomy. Let's continue this exploration with curiosity and respect. Recognizing that the knowledge we gain today empowers us to make thoughtful decisions about our well-being and future. If you have any questions, feel free to share them with the class. Now answer the questions. Listen to a teacher talking in a biology class. Good morning, class. I hope you all had a chance to reflect on our discussion from the previous day about birth control and our bodies. Today, we'll delve deeper into a related and equally important aspect, birth control and its connection to women's liberation. As we explored yesterday, understanding our bodies is a crucial part of growing up, and it empowers us to make informed choices about our health. Today's discussion extends that knowledge to the realm of reproductive choices. Birth control methods offer a range of options for individuals, providing them with the ability to make decisions about family planning. This is particularly significant for women as it grants them greater control over their reproductive journeys, aligning with the principles of women's liberation. Our conversation today aims to shed light on the various methods of birth control, emphasizing the importance of informed decision-making and open communication with healthcare professionals. By understanding and embracing these choices, individuals, especially women, can pursue education, careers, and personal goals with greater autonomy. Let's continue this exploration with curiosity and respect, recognizing that the knowledge we gain today empowers us to make thoughtful decisions about our well-being and future. If you have any questions, feel free to share them with the class. Now answer the questions. Listen to a teacher talking in a biology class. Good morning, class. I hope you all had a chance to reflect on our discussion from the previous day about birth control and our bodies. Today, we'll delve deeper into a related and equally important aspect, birth control and its connection to women's liberation. As we explored yesterday, understanding our bodies is a crucial part of growing up and it empowers us to make informed choices about our health. Today's discussion extends that knowledge to the realm of reproductive choices. Birth control methods offer a range of options for individuals, 
providing them with the ability to make decisions about family planning. This is particularly significant for women as it grants them greater control over their reproductive journeys aligning with the principles of women's liberation. Our conversation today aims to shed light on the various methods of birth control, emphasizing the importance of informed decision-making and open communication with healthcare professionals. By understanding and embracing these choices, individuals, especially women, can pursue education, careers, and personal goals with greater autonomy. Let's continue this exploration with curiosity and respect, recognizing that the knowledge we gain today empowers us to make thoughtful decisions about our well-being and future. If you have any questions, feel free to share them with the class. Now answer the questions. Share and subscribe.